Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on how to perform a Fisher's exact test in R. First of all, we'll start by loading a few important libraries, tidyverse summary tools and GT summary libraries, which will help us to make our life in R easier. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using the exact same data set as what we used in the chi squared test. The dancing cats data set whether a cat learned to dance after giving a specific type of training whether they were either given food as a reward or affection as a reward and what effect that had on their ability to learn to dance so we can see the data set by using the head and tail functions which give us the first and last six rows respectively. So we can see that the training column is includes food as a reward or affection as a reward, what they were given after training and whether the cat learned to dance or not, denoted by the last column. We would like to get some summary statistics, some exploratory data analysis. You can do that using the DF summary function from the summary tools package and we'll store the results in an object SUMM so that we can actually call upon this object using the view function also included in the summary tools package to get a beautiful summary data analysis. So first of all, we'll check if there are any missing values. There aren't any missing values. That's great. Now we see that 76 cats or 38% have learned to dance and what type of training were they given? What type of reward were they given? 38 cats or 19% were given food as a reward and 162 cats were given affection as a reward, probably pets. And to get nice cross table, we can either run a simple table function with your variables of interest written spaced by a comma and we can get our contingency table, 2 by 2 contingency table. But the GT summary package allows us to create publication ready tables and why not use that because those are aesthetically pleasing. And we can also get percentages very easily just using the percent argument inside this function tbl underscore cross is the function for cross tabs and we can specify in the row what we want and column which variable we want so right off the bat we can see that cats who were given food as a reward 74 percent learned to dance whereas only 30 percent of cats learned to dance when they were given affection as a reward so we can see that cats want food and not affection and they'll do anything for you so we want to test this hypothesis that cats who are given food as a reward are more likely to dance. We want to test whether the type of training or whether the type of reward given had an effect on the cats ability to learn to dance. We can do a chi-square test, but if we have a sample size less than 50, in this case we have quite a large sample size, so we are okay by running a chi-square test. But supposing we had a small sample size, suppose we had only 50 cats, we had a small sample size, or the values in any of these cells was less than 5, then we would have had to run a Fisher's exact test. So how do we do? How do we run a Fisher's exact test? We do that using the Fisher.test function, which is included in the base R package. So you don't have to load any separate library for that. But before running a formal test, we'd like to check some assumptions. The variables are categorical. That is obviously true. All observations are independent. That is also true. The cells in our table are mutually exclusive. Yes, that is true. And the marginal totals, that are totals for each row and each column in the contingency table are fixed or predetermined and do not vary during the analysis. So this is an assumption which is distinct from the chi-square assumptions that we saw in the previous video. 
So we'll run our Fisher's exact test. We'll get a p value, and the p value is highly statistically significant. It is less than 0.001, and we also get an odds ratio. So cats who were given food as a reward were six and a half times more likely to dance than cats who were not given or who were given affection as a reward. And these are our confidence intervals. We can visualize these test results using a mosaic plot function, and this is great because we can see the magnitude of percentages. So we can see that cats who were given food as a reward, a higher number of higher percentage of cats learn to dance, as is evident by this tall. column and cats who were given affection and reward you can see that this column is very short as compared to this column so like less percentage of cats learn to dance and this is obviously evident in uh, the continuous study that is for this video thanks for watching